touching photos always have a sunset behind the bicyclist to make them look serious. Well, I decided to stop at the hotel I was staying at because I wanted to shower real quick. I was so sweaty. I also wanted to put on my sweatshirt because it was getting a little nipply out. A little nipply out. Nipples. So let's get on this thing and get going, huh? My legs are already sore. I don't really feel like going. But it's only a mile away, so let's get going. So I made it to the Dark Horse. These guys get a lot of credit for having a bike rack outside. That is so helpful right now. I am kind of an idiot. I emptied out my bag to try to lighten the load for my bike trip here from the hotel room. And in the process, I... Uh, I got rid of my laptop, which is what I usually use to do all these video recordings. So I have to use my uh, phone instead. Sorry. So this place is like intentionally set up as one of those like dive bars. And it's awesome. A lot of these breweries have blatant advertisements for their competition. It really kind of goes to show that they're in this more for the art of it, like the craft of it. Not just to, you know, make the most money they can possibly make. I mean, they want to make money too, that's on me. Yeah. What I'm going to be drinking now is a Sapient Trip Ale. This was recommended to me by the brewer at Territorial Brewing Company. Oh, this is very opaque. I can't see through this at all. It's like a dingy brown color. Actually, up to the light, it's more tangerine-ish, kind of grapefruity. I let the head subside a little bit, but look, there's some good lacing on this. Give this a smell. This is a very yeasty smelling beer. It reminds me of like a Hefeweizen. There's also a lot of uh, fruit scent in there. Let's give this a taste. Cheers, everybody. I can see why this was recommended. The first thing I would like to point out is that this is 9.5% alcohol, and it doesn't taste like it at all. Very smooth. This, this is dangerous. It's a good thing I brought my helmet. The yeast is the biggest part of it, but it's fruity. It's, it's a sweeter kind of beer. Once it's kind of settled and gone down a little, there's a... Um, bit of a finish on there. This beer menu says it's clove. Mild. Mild clove. I really couldn't tell you the flavor, but it's good, whatever it is. And I just told you it's clove. I don't know why I said whatever it is. I know. I know. Very smooth. Nice finish on it. I'm giving this one a 4 out of 5. Actually, no. I'm giving this one a 4.5 out of 5. Because it's that good. My mother just asked on Facebook if I'm here all by myself. I am. I should also point out that it's been like, oh, I don't know, a half hour since I started this beer, and there is still lacing on this thing. So that was the Dark Horse. They have some pretty good stuff. Just as a quick note, I would like everybody to know that they have the sound of running water in their bathroom, just to help a brother out. There's an app you can get called Charity Miles. What it does is it just records your bike ride based on how far you go. The charity of your choice gets so much money